check it out. I was looking through my content before I went forward with some other things, and I can't believe I missed this one. I swore I covered it, but I didn't, so here we are. In all of the Last Wish reviews I've done, I say very loud and clear, to me at least, the Last Wish weapons are some of the best in the game. Supremacy? No different. Supremacy's a beast. An absolute unit. It does a lot of things, pretty much everything, right. So I want to talk about why I love it. A kinetic rapid fire frame and a recent rapid fire that's dear to my heart, Cloud Strike, finally caught its nerve. But rapid fires in general, they got a good buff not too long ago. 50% less recoil, that helps out in the Crucible, helps out in PvE. And they increase the total ammo count, so mag and reserves increase by 30%. Helps on the PvE front. This thing's getting to 27 or so rounds. When we look at Supremacy, what can it bring to the table? Base stat wise, they're great. It's a raid weapon, usually a little juiced in some stats. And this sniper has a lot of play. PvP, perfect perks. Perfect stats. PvE, surprisingly, really good. And I never use snipers in PvE, ever. I use Supremacy, though. So between the two, in the Crucible, in all, why would you use a Rapid Fire Frame? Well, number one, the massive, and I mean massive aim assist stat that's inherent. This thing's base is 77 aim assist. Number two, we now have a lot less recoil for follow-up shots. Number three, fast firing, go target to target. You can double tap. Number four, the inherent high handling stat. This thing is craftable. You can get it to 93 handling with fluted barrel and a handling mash to work. The downside for the Crucible, you can't take out supers. And you couldn't do that with Cloud Strike, but that didn't stop anybody. Yes, that feels bad, but you're using it for the fire rate. You're using it for the reduced recoil, the aim assist, all of it. Plain and simple. We've had Omniscient Eye, Twilight Oath. All of them have put in work. And what we want to do, usually, with a rapid fire frame, you want to up the handling, you want to up the magazine for certain activities, you want to up the aim assist, you want to have perk synergy. This is craftable, so we do have enhanced. We have the explosive packed origin trait. This weapon gains bonus stability and reload speed when activating a grenade ability. Healing grenades, grenade final blows, grant additional stacks of the bonus. In the third column, they can be enhanced. Genesis, lead from gold, discord, rapid hit, keep away, rewind round, snapshot. Final column, focus fury, four times a charm, kinetic trimmers, vorpal weapon, elemental capacitor, opening shot, bait and switch. Really good perks here. I actually want to start with PVE. Kinetic Trimmers. Kinetic Trimmers damage is based on the hits of the weapon that you're using. It goes into three waves of Kinetic Trimmer damage, and the damage is tied to archetype, tied to weapon. For example, Buzzard. The Kinetic Trimmer damage is 9,008. Spare Rations. Hand Cannon, 7,556. Battle Scar. Pulse Rifle, 5,812. The Scouts. Hung Jury. Randy's Throwing Knife. Transfiguration. All of them do 7,556, so it's kind of class specific. Then we get to Supremacy, 8,020. Takes anywhere from four to seven shots on a weapon or, you know, four bursts on a pulse rifle or kinetic trimmers to proc. So they're all kind of different. With a sniper rifle, it's three bullets. But even better, with enhanced kinetic trimmers, it's just two bullets. And here lies the appeal. You can do a couple things with that. Number one, you kind of think of this thing as a long range wither horde. Kind of. Just damage over time. You hit two shots, immediately switch to your heavy GL, a bait and switch weapon or a rocket, explosive light, whatever it is. You come back to the supremacy, fire two shots again, go back to the other weapon. Or maybe even a special because of bait and switch, preferably with auto loading on those. It holds seven rounds in the mag. That's with appended. I have mine set up with fluted barrel, appended mag, rewind rounds, kinetic trimmers enhanced. Rewind rounds is the perfect pairing for doing this. It remembers how many hits you had, even if it's been a while. When the mag is empty, it refills from reserves based on hits. You do that burst DPS, two shots, kinetic tremors, use your other weapons. By the time that mag is out, it refills to near max or max. And remember, I'm just showing the base loop, which I find really, really good at a distance. It's a sniper rifle. And with that comes a sniper rifle's crit multiplier. So when you land those two shots, of course, try to make them crits. You do a lot more damage. Then switch to your other weapons. And for me, personally, looking into the future, it's a perfect sniper for when snipers can stun champions, whether that be overload, unstoppable. You just tap them with two shots, they will get stunned. Never have to reload it with rewind rounds. Easy to tap kinetic trimmers, large reserves because of the buff. I really like it. I do. It's the kinetic trimmer king because of that. Just two shots. You could also do fourth time bait and switch, rewind bait and switch. No wrong answer. For the first time in a long time, I'm enjoying the sniper rifle in PvE with what I'm doing with it. And that's all because the two shot kinetic trimmer. Just boom, boom, proc, 
rewind round. As for the Crucible, I adore it there, I do. I've always liked it. But now, craftable? Even better. I do plan to craft a PvP-centered one, I like it that much. And it's gonna be just like these ones that I have at base, snapshot, opening shot, supercharged. You want high handling with snapshot and with opening shot on these things, plus 25 range, 20 aim assist, accuracy help. That means at base with that shot, it's 97 aim assist. And with enhanced opening shot, it's plus 25 aim assist. So it's at 100 or you can add on target. I'm unsure if a lot of players out there have used rapid fires outside of Cloud Strike in a while. They're a problem, man. They're really good. They now have that less recoil, which is very, very apparent. This thing has 100 aim assist. It's snappy. And sure, you can't take out a super, but Cloud Strike couldn't either. People were doing just fine. That's the trade off, though. A headshot magnet can't take out a super. This thing feels incredible just to whip around and use. I love it. It hits crisp shots, the friction, magnetism, the slowdown, like all of it is perfect. And for the Crucible, pound for pound, it's gonna be snapshot opening shot. And I'll talk about the PVE craft as well, but for the Crucible, fluted barrel handling masterwork, snapshot opening shot. Then you have the choice of ricochet rounds or flared magwell. Flared magwell is the most raw stats, brings it to 48 stability, 77 reload speed. Ricochet is 37 range, 53 stability. No wrong answer, it's preference. You put on extended mag to get the AE to 12. For PVE, if you plan on doing the two tap kinetic trimmers, I would still do fluted barrel handling masterwork. 93 handling, that's to go to other weapons and bring it back out. That's the true pure handling stat. And then a pended mag. Rewind rounds doesn't necessarily have to be enhanced, but definitely kinetic trimmers is gonna be enhanced. Back to the Crucible. Just talked about snapshot opening shot. However, just to know, enhanced kinetic trimmers, that works two shots as well in the Crucible. So if you decided to craft a PVE one, high handling, that 93 stat, no reason why you can't use that in the Crucible. It deals 92 to the body, and when you do it back to back, immediately drops a trimmer down and it will clean up. So we again have that vanilla year one two tap rapid fire sniper. I prefer the opening shot one, but hey, enhanced kinetic trimmers works and it works well. For the most part, rapid fire snipers, well, just snipers in general, aren't used in PVE. And in the Crucible, aside from Cloud Strike, you don't really see rapid fire. So I think that the Supremacy really fills a really good role. It does things that others can't do. As you saw, just looking at the crafted stats, high handling, getting to 100 aim assist for the Crucible, never a bad thing. And for PVE, I really like the little DPS loop of the kinetic trippers on it. Especially with Rewind, you're never having to reload the thing. I do play solo a lot, so I look forward to using this thing, especially when it becomes on the artifact for champions. All the damage with kinetic trimmers is guaranteed to stun. So yeah, I think it's special. In all, I feel it's the kinetic trimmer king. Only two shots to proc. It's good heavy damage for a loop to switch to other weapons. It's a little extra tool to put in your arsenal. And again, I could have swore that I covered it because I was hyped about it. I really, really enjoy it. So I'm glad I made the video. I wanna hear your thoughts though. Have you used Supremacy? The hardest thing is it's a raid weapon and you need five borders. But if you got one or two, and that goes for any of the raid weapons. We have the Deep Sight Harmonizer within the Season Pass, and there are multiple ways to get spoils just as a solo player. You get 15 in Vault of Glass alone, and there's a ton of guides on YouTube on how to go do that. But let's talk about it down below, what you think about it. And if you haven't used a Rapid Fire in a while, it doesn't have to be this one. It could be Omniscient Eye, it could be Twilight. Bring it out with the recoil changes and their perk set. See what you think. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. Let's talk about the supremacy down below. Again, I'm a huge fan. What do you think about it? Thank you for watching. And until the next one, I'm Cool Guy.